Yeah, this is Sirach. Sirach 30. Sirach 30. I'm going to start at 16. There is no riches above a sound body. The word sound body means uh, free from diseases. Free from diseases. When you have a sound body, you're free from diseases. When you don't have a sound body, that means you're prone to get any type of disease. You know what I'm saying? Your body always got to be alkaline, not acidic. You understand? When your body's acidic, you walk sluggish, you feel sluggish, you, you know, you, you, you're fat, you got all that excess weight, you know, you're prone to cancer or, or diabetes, you know, and, and, and the list goes on. Right? It said, there is no riches above a sound body and no joy above the joy of the heart. Death is better, better than a bitter life. Damn, most I said death is better, better than a bitter life or continuous sickness. All right? Damn. So in other words, man, we might as well put a bullet to your head, man, if you constantly sick. You know, most I said death is better than a continuous sickness, always running in and out of the hospital. Got a lot of brothers that's on different types of medication. Different type of medication from the doctor, man. Where the Most High have different herbs of the of the ground, which is good for your body. And yeah, niggas know the scriptures, but you're still running to the doctor and taking their drugs, man. This is Psalms 104. Psalms 104. Psalms 104. Verse 14, he causes the grass to grow for the cattle and the herb for the service of man that he may bring forth food out of the earth. You know, so uh, the herbs that grows from the ground, man, it'll service you. Get your thyme, your oregano, uh, your basil, you know, your garlic, your onions. That's what's good for the body. You understand? You know, get your, uh, what's that? Acidophilus, which is good for the immune, it aids the immune system. Burdock, burdock is good for your lymphatic system. It cleans out all them toxics. You know, because the air that we bring is, breathe that is toxic, the water that we drink is toxic. So get burdock. Burdock, it, it, it cleans out the system, right? You know what I'm saying? It cleans out your system. Uh, Take charcoal, Char charcoal once in a while. Charcoal, charcoal will grab the toxins out of your bloodstream and it will eliminate it. You understand? All right. So, it's, uh, death is better than a bitter life or continuous sickness. Delicates pour, delicates pour upon a mouth, shut up uh, a mess, messes of meat set upon a grave. That's right, man. It, it, it sets you upon a grave, man. All right, delicates. You know, all these different types of meats and burgers, all the fried food that you're eating, it will set you upon a grave. You understand? It said, um, what good doeth the offering unto an idol? For neither can it eat nor smell. So is he that is persecuted of the Lord. He seeth, he seeth, uh, I'm gonna go straight to the point. Go straight to 22. It said, the gladness of the heart is the life of man. And the joyfulness of the man prolongs his life. You know, cause that's right. Being joyful, you know, being sad is not good. Because what it does, it increase your cortisol level. Once your cortisol level goes up, your body start and your body start and your body and your mind start to deteriorate. You know, there's a lot of people that's out there depressed. You got a lot of brothers that's pushing the truth. Some of y'all is depressed on the low, man. You know, we sad. We sad because this kingdom's still going on. But at the same time, we happy because we got this knowledge and understanding. You understand? The, you know, because the scripture said, it said the gladness of the heart is the life of man. That's right. The gladness uh, of the heart is the life of man. 
right? And the joyfulness of a man prolongs his life. You know? You know, you, you gotta, uh, that's right. So, love thy own soul. Mosai said, love thy own soul and comfort thy heart. Remove sorrow far from thee, for sorrow has killed many, and there is no profit therein. You understand? There's no profit in being sorry and being depressed all the fucking time, man. Being sad. Yeah, we mad at Esau. We mad at these fucking heathens. We mad this kingdom still going on, but at the same time, put joy into your heart, man. Loosen up a little bit, man. Put joy into your heart. You know, these scriptures bring me joy, man. Coming out here bring me joy. You understand? You gotta, you, you, you know, you gotta count your blessing. You're still working. You have a job. You have a job. You have a roof over your head. You know, things could be worse. You know, you look at your situation. Damn, I'm in a bad situation, but somebody else got it more worse than you. Somebody else got it more worse than you, man. Somebody ain't wake up today. You woke up. Come on, man. Count your blessing. You understand? Put joy in your heart. That's what the scripture said. The sorrow had killed many. My mother-in-law, she died because she, she was depressed. My uncle, after his wife left him, he died of a heart attack, man. About a year or two years later, because he wanted this woman so bad. He wanted his wife back. But she committed adultery and went with a younger man. He died in front of me with a heart attack, man. Caught a seizure and just collapsed. Because his cortisol was high. His, the cortisol deteriorated his body and his mind. Depression. Depression is a motherfucker. <laughs> Depression is a motherfucker, man. I keep it moving, man. And I keep I, I keep following my calling. My calling was to preach this good title to the nation of Israel, man. Either I'm going to camp or either by myself, man. I got to follow my calling. This is what I've been ordained to do. This is joy in my life. These scriptures, this is joy, man. Following your harvest in your shot, this is joy right here. Right? So this is uh, Sirach 30. I'm going to keep reading. Verse 24. Envy and wrath shorten the life. Envy and wrath shorten the life. And carefulness bring age before the time. Yeah, envy and wrath shorten the life, man. Always mad, always bitter. Walking around. With a chip on your shoulders, man. Man, fucking man. That'll shorten your life, man. Loosen up a little bit, man. Go drink a shot of uh, Yanni on, man. Go drink a shot of wine, man. Go drink a shot of, of a little liquor there and there, man. Go drink it moderately, man. Loosen up a little bit, man. Stop being so uptight. You got brothers out there look all tight and shit like they got a corn stuck up their ass, man. It said, envy and wrath shorten the life. And carefulness bring age before the time. You start looking older than you are. You start looking older than you are, man. It said, cheerful and a good heart will have a care of his meat and diet. You understand? The scripture said, a cheerful and a good heart. Good heart means high quality. Get the good food that you need. Get that good and wholesome food that you need for your body, man. Yeah, you might spend a little, it's all good. I'd rather spend a little bit than a high doctor bill, or a cemetery bill, funeral costs. You know, if you're putting that burden on your loved ones, when you drop dead, you know? Don't only live for yourself, but live for others. You have children. You might have a beautiful wife. You know, so when you got that proper, proper diet, you live it. You understand? You live it, man. And you set a good example to others. You set a good example to your household.